Welcome. This time I'm going to um, show you a quick okay, um, introduction about JSON because we're going to use Android um, um, and, and uh, we're going to communicate with some web services using JSON messages. So uh, the easiest one um, is we're going to um, look at the um, 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 JSON tutorial from um, 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 W3 Scones there. So, JSON stands for JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. So it's actually uh, it's a, a way for us to work with objects inside. Um, 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 it's a way for us to work with um, objects inside JavaScript. Uh, however, um, because of its um, convenience, okay. Um, what, what do I mean by convenience? So it's a syntax for storing and exchanging data, and it is easier to use. Okay, this one is it's convenient, easier to use, easier to read, okay, easier to work with, okay, so that uh, not only for JavaScript, okay, not only for JavaScript, um, we can easily convert, okay, a Java, a normal Java object into um, 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 JSON and vice versa. We can um, easily convert the um, 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 just a message back to um, Java. So we're going to um, uh, learn an example or, or basic things of JSON is any of the JSON object, okay, any of the JSON object that you would like to send must be enclosed by the uh, curly bracket. Must be enclosed by the curly bracket. And all the values are in forms of key value pairs, key value pairs, key value pairs. The key is always a string. Okay, the key is always a string. Key. Okay. Let us this one is an object. Okay, this one is one JSON object. Okay. And it is in form of key value pairs. This one is a key, and here is the values. The values is a the values is a string. This one is a key, this one is a values, the values is a string. Okay. All the values here, let's say in this case we have one JSON object, two JSON objects, and three JSON objects. Okay, and each JSON object will have the key is first name and name is John, key is last name, name is Doe. Okay, so on for, for, for the other things here. Then there is another, um, um, and, and the key and value are separated by um, um, a colon. And then um, um, each of the fields inside a Java object is separated by a comma. Then there is another notation here is the square bracket. Okay, so this one and this one. From here down here, this one is one object. Okay. This one is one object. This one is another object. Okay, then this one is another object. Okay, and the whole thing here is also an object because they are enclosed with open and closed curly bracket. So, and then for um, for 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 JSON, um, all the fields are in form of keys values, and and this is special one for this key. Okay, the values is enclosed by a square bracket. Okay, if, if the value is enclosed by square bracket, it means um, it is an array of it's an array of values, and this array of values right now is array of another JSON object. Okay, another JSON object. Let's just good. Let's, 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 let's give a simple example. Okay, give a simple example. Okay, okay. Let us just um, give a simple example here. I already um, 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 coded. Um, um, I already created um, 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 a, a web service, okay, and this web service is written in PHP, and for that web service, it's going to receive a JSON message, okay, it's going to receive a JSON message, and for that JSON message, um, um, it is required, okay, for that JSON message is required to post a JSON message, it looks like this, so you need to pass in the ID with the ID product let's say one, then you need to pass in the name of the product let's say product one. It's a name is a string, product one, and you need to pass in let's say the quantity of the products, which is let's say um twelve let's say. So you, this web service is gonna expect you to send it a JSON message. Okay, it's, it's expect you to um, send it a JSON message with this one is only um, a, a, a JSON object. Uh, this is only a simple object. Okay, this object has only one, two, three fields. The first one is an ID field and with the quantity is an integer. The second one is a string with the quantity is a string. Uh, the, the name with the quant uh, with the values is in the form of string. And the third one is the 
um, 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 quantity field with their um, um, data type is an integer. Similarly, it's a simple object that we're going to um, post on this website. We're going to post on this website. And from this website, it's going to convert your input. It's going to convert your input into a um, JSON object, a, a PHP. Uh, but specifically, um, I'm going to, um, um, this one is converting into um, JSON array. Okay, array. Use, um, um, use JSON decode to convert it into um, associate um, um, array. So then this um, 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 website is going to um, check whether uh, the ID is an integer or not. Whether ID, because ID is required field, then it's going to check ID is you know, empty or not. And if it's empty, you will display the uh, status, which is ID is required. And then it's going to return you another JSON message. Okay, it's going to return you another JSON message. That JSON message would, has a field is the um, status. Okay, and the values is the status here. Okay, this is a variable. Similarly, it's gonna check you whether it is um, 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 uh, an integer or not. You know, if it is not an integer, um, then it's not right. Then you will return the status here, another JSON object. Okay, and then so on and so forth. Okay, and and uh, for this, for this, so let's say if it is correct like this, it's going to return this one is sent on this website. This one is going to return. Okay, it's gonna return a um, status. Let's say um, I'm succeeded. Okay, so uh, succeeded. Okay, succeeded. Let's say um, by default it is succeeded. Then we wanna check the get the ID out. Check the ID if it's um fail and say the ID is fail so on so forth there. But finally, if there is no return over there, it's gonna return this one. Okay, and the status supposed to be default is succeeded this way. So um, in 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 um, Next lecture, I think um, we're going to um, create an um, Android application in order to send in order to send this kind of JSON message to um, this kind of JSON message to 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 the internet, and we're going to um, get and process the return results this way. And we are using Android, so for Android, in order to work with this JSON, we uh, we're going to use um, JSON object. Okay, then from this JSON object, you can put the values in form of um, key values pair, key value pairs, okay, in forms of killer pairs, and into into this this JSON object. But this JSON object is Java object. Okay, and then you can um, um, convert it into um, string like this. Convert into string like this. Okay, and also also you want to do like from this one is from data then um, put to um, um, java object then to string and then you can do the another way around which is from um, 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 string you can convert into um, java no, json object in java and then you get back the values then you get back So let's say um, um, when we have separate values like ID names and so forth, okay, like this, we're going to create JSON object. Then we'll have JSON object, we'll convert into such kind of string, then we send it online, we send it online. Then when we return this, okay, we convert into convert into JSON object, which is in Java, and then we get back the value which is the status, the field, okay, the status field, okay, the status field. So actually, let me just draw. Let me just draw uh, the picture about what we we are going to do. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to have a form. Okay, we're going to have a form. This form will have the field for ID and the field for um, name and another field for quantity, ID name and quantity. And then this one that is gonna be submit button. Okay, this one gonna be submit. Then this one going to be let's say um, ID name quantity okay. from ID name quantity um, you're going to um, create a, a, a 
um, um, JSON object for uh, Java Java JSON object. Okay, from that you want to create a Java JSON object, uh, get corresponding ID put into it, um, name put into it, and quantity put into it. Uh, from this um, Java object, we're going to um, we're going to convert into string. Okay, want to convert into string. Okay, then it's we're going to get JSON string this way. Okay, we're gonna get JSON string this way. Okay, then we're going to connect to the internet. Okay, we'll connect to the internet, which is the website that you have seen this now, which is this website. Okay, which is this website? Ah, not not yet, probably. This is the website. Okay, this is the website I created and uploaded online already. Okay, then for this website, so this is VT game, anyone can code Android, and this one is ADMD 2015 06. Okay, a product service. Okay, and uh, because I have direct access to it, so I didn't uh, send the um, 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 it's, I didn't send the um, 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 ID. So it's um, supposed to return me a JSON message like this. Okay, so it's supposed to return me a JSON message like this. So when I connect to internet, let's say when I connect to the internet and post it here. Okay. When I connect to the internet, send the data to the internet to this website. Okay. Oh. Send the data to this website. This is, this is bring this here. Okay. Send the data to this website. Send this JSON message to this website, and we get back the um, 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 JSON message. From this JSON message, we're going to convert it into the JSON Java object again. Okay. Uh, convert into JSON Java object again. This one is json um, um, object java json object okay it's json java object and from here you get back the status values you get back the status okay you get back the status okay you get back the status you get back the status which is this message which is a message and you're going to display it toss it okay get back the status and toss it in this case, if you toast it, it's going to display a message back to, it's going to display a message back to your Android application. To your Android application. So this one is what we're going to do in, in previous, um, in, in next video.